OK、スタイルあそう今井さん、OK ですか初めても。あっ、いや、ウィキャンスタイル。OK、そう、Are you ready to start, Professor b e r r y o k we introduce you. So,、um, uh, good morning. So, we start、uh, the morning session of the second day, and the first speaker is, of the morning session is by、uh, is Professor Alexander b e r r y n s o n from Chicago, and his title is Height pairing and the Picard Refugee Illusi formula. So please start.、Uh, okay.、Uh, so I'm deeply grateful to organizers for,、uh, for the invitation to take part in this、uh, great conference. And Takeshi is such a wonderful person and such a great mathematician. I learned a lot、uh, of mathematics from him, and、um, his influence was、uh, crucial for my own research of, of the last decade. And、thank you, Takeshi. Thank you.、Oh. <laughs> well, mm, 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 I, will, I will talk uh, a wo- uh, about a,、uh, a work of, on, on a conjecture uh, uh, of、mm, Spencer Bloch. And well, I hope he would be a co author, but he declined. So that's、uh, uh, the situation. Well, so、uh, let me start.、Uh, I would.、Uh, Uh, so, mostly I would,、um, there would be preliminary s o that are needed、uh, to, formulate, uh, to formulate the result, and then I will、um, tell、uh, the idea of the proof. So,、um, uh, suppose that we have a subfield、um, K of the field of complex numbers, and、uh, Y would be a smooth pro-、uh, over K, would be a smooth projective variety. Well,、um, I will uh, uh, consider、um, homology and cohomology,、uh, uh, cohomology so Y and of、uh, similar varieties, and it will always mean、uh, that I consider homology with、uh, rational coefficients of the corresponding complex variety. So I will denote them, say, H, I, Y, and this means that this is H, I. Of the topological space of complex points、uh, with coefficient in Q. And I will、um, always consider it as a,、um, as a Q Hodge structure. Well,、uh, also I will denote by Z,、uh, say M or Y, usually as cycles of dimension M、uh, on Y.、Um, and、uh, if I Uh, uh, with Q coefficients. And I will put zero to the right, uh, 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 meaning uh, the subgroup of cycles homologically equivalent to zero. Well,、um, and also certainly we have similarly, we have the Chao group again with rational coefficients, and it will contain the subgroup of cycles homologically equivalent to zero. Well,、um, and uh, in uh, this situation, we have uh, uh, something called uh, uh, the height pairing, and this is. Uh, which I will denote something like this. And this will be a pairing of、uh, if we have two numbers m and n such that m plus n、uh, equals the dimension of y minus one. Then we have the height pairing between the corresponding Chow groups. And it will take value in 
real in the quotient of real numbers, model of u vector subspace generated by logarithm of modulus of invertible elements of k. So if k equals to q, uh, then this will be just q linear combination of a logarithm of uh, logarithms of primes. Uh, well, mm, mm, uh, I should say that in case when k equals to q, well, this could be, this is purely Archimedean uh, pairing. I will define it in a moment, but in case when um, mm, uh, k equals to q, you can lift it to R pairing. Well, unfortunately, model some uh, motivic, uh, motivic conjectures. Uh, mm, and so I prefer just to consider this uh, pairing with values in the quotient. Okay, now, uh, oh, la, 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 la. I wonder how to pass to the next. Uh, Oh, la, la. How would I pass to the next screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's my technical stupidity. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh well, wonder how, how would I do it? <laughs> Shit, sorry. Somebody in the, somebody in the audience can hear the session. Uh, just a I moment. Don't, I, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Uh, there should be some sign at the bottom, at the bottom of the screen mm. and that is, and that is different yeah, here from different here from what I mm, from what I know. Okay, okay, sorry. Ah. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. What, what, what's going on? Uh, Professor Bellinson? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you, you, you mute, did you mute yourself? Sasha, can, can you hear me? I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Sasha. Chat I, I, sorry, I cannot hear you. Sasha. Can you hear me?聞こえてないですよね。私だけじゃないですよね。聞こえてないです。あ、でもミュートかかってないみたい。ミュートはかかってないみたいですね。なんか前から信じるんだよね。うん。あの、チャットでメッセージ送ったんですけど、反応がない
<laughs> Sasha, can, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Did you kill your microphone? うん、どんどん進んでいってますね。え、ハロー。ハロー。どうしよう。前カメラ見てないんですよね。なんか、そう、こんな感じですね。どうしよう。カメラ見てたら、なんか<笑><笑> Message, uh, Professor Berryson, uh, could, could you stop uh, your talk and uh, try? To, could you could you hear hear me? Uh, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Uh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't あの、画面共有を強制的にこちらで一旦落とすことはできないですかね。ああ。ビデオの停止ってのはなんかあるけど、あ、ハロー。ハロー。I あ、なんか電話してますね。うん。チャットがチャットを読めたのかな No, we still cannot hear you. Yeah. Mm. うん。はい。うん。ちょっと<笑><笑> もう一回、もう一回つなぐ、つない、一回切ってつなぎ直してもらえますかそうですね。それがいいと思います。うん。えっと。
。とチャットすぐできますあ、続いてる。お始まってるのか一ん。いっぺん切れたんですよね、きっとね。はい。And then、uh, the next thing is that just the general thing that I will need is that suppose that we have a Q Hodge structure with weights lying、uh, with weights minus two, minus one, and zero, and such that、uh, it's、um, weight zero part is identified with Q of zero and weight minus two with Q of one. And then to such a, a Hodge structure, I can assign a, a real number. And the way you do it, Is you pass to the corresponding real h o t structure. And、uh, real h o t structures have property that、um, uh, the filtration,、uh, that if I have、uh, a h o t structure with uh, just uh, two successive weights,、uh, then it necessarily splits. And this means that、uh, if I take、uh, um, this real h o t structure H tensor R, then the Uh, weight minus one part、uh, splits from it. Uh, and, uh, and so the thing will be equal to weight minus one part and an extension of R of zero by R of one. And this H in brackets will be defined as, a, as the class of、uh, the corresponding extension of R of zero by R of one. Well,、um, and、uh, in the definition of high pairing, I will apply this to. Uh, a, specific, uh, a specific extension. And the way, uh, uh, the way it is done is as follows. So suppose that we have two cycles, A,、uh, which is, lies in ZM, and、uh, B, which lies in ZN. Uh, uh, that have properties that they are disjoint. So uh, if, it,、uh, if I denote by、uh, modulus of A and modulus of B the supports of A and B, then I want them to be disjoint. Uh, then uh, uh, to such a data, I can consider、uh, assign a mixed hot structure,、uh, which、uh, is a homology.、Uh, let me denote it as. H up 
model A, model B. And this is by definition will be the relative homology of degree to M plus one of the complement uh, to cycle B modulo the support of B modulo the support of A. Okay. And uh, well, uh, we have uh, 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 certainly we have uh, the boundary map maps from H uh, A B. To homology of A with degree one less, so it will be 2M. Well, and maybe I would I would uh, twist by minus M. Okay. So so the thing is to the right is a weight zero, and here to the left, there will be uh, the dual. Uh, Counterpart, and this will be homology of degree to m plus two of uh, y modulo the complement to the support of b. There will be the boundary maps, and in fact, if we consider uh, the corresponding image of the left map and the image of the right map, then it's easy to see that uh, it's easy to identify them. Namely, if you look to the right, this is the support of A is M dimensional variety. And so this uh, uh, group to the right is just the group of um, formal Q linear combinations of irreducible components of, of the support. So, uh, and, uh, the, uh, and the image will be formed by the corresponding cycles. Uh, which have um, which are homologically equivalent to zero, and um, at the left, uh, just by duality, it will be the dual group of the corresponding uh, corresponding group of cycles uh, um, for B. And uh, as a result, we can uh, and uh, it's easy to see that this uh, images uh, are uh, exactly that the group uh, our Hot structure had weights exactly minus two, uh, minus one is, uh, and zero as before. And so it goes to Z, uh, and this will be exactly the with zero part, and here the image will be the corresponding group uh, dual and twisted by one. Well, and therefore we can uh, consider, and this will be the minus uh, weight, uh, this will be minus two part. Well, and then if we have cycle. Uh, a, which is certainly supported on its support. Then we have a map, which is just A. And here we have a map, which is just the dual map B. This goes to Q1. And we can consider pull back and push forward. And this will be HAB. And mm, now we can uh, uh, Oops, just a moment. Same technical uh, technical problem. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, by definition, we define uh, then the uh, height pairing between A and B. Yes, the real number which we assign to this 
coach structure HIB with this identification with Q0 and Q1 of the, uh, its boundary part, modulo uh, Q Okay. Now, the thing is that if we consider, so this is, uh, uh, this uh, thing is uh, a real number, uh, but it will depend uh, actually on cycles A and B, not only on their classes in a Chow group, but if we consider modulo in, in the quotient of real numbers modulo as a subgroup, it will be, it will depend only on um, elements on A and B as elements of the Chow group. And, Mm, 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 and this is a definition of, well, let me put also sign y here. Now, the problem is that with this definition is that, well, mm, uh, again, uh, um, as a real number, it uh, thing depends on a and b, and you should make, you should make these choices, and sometimes it's difficult. But mm, uh, Bloch suggests that, uh, and that in some situation you can compute it in a different manner, which is uh, which is uh, seemingly different, but uh, but it is uh, can be. So let me describe now the general situation. It has to do with vanishing cycles uh, uh, that I will consider. So just just the setting uh, of the story with vanishing cycles. So now we consider the following situation. We have uh, a family of algebraic varieties over. Uh, over a curve, uh, algebraic varieties are all over K, and this thing will be smooth of a dimension, uh, say, N, and this is smooth curve, and also I will have a point here, and I have I have the fiber over this point, uh, and I assume, and so, uh, and this is a map as a projection F, and I assume that F is proper. And uh, also it's smooth outside. Uh, finite subset of points X alpha inside of the zero fiber. Okay, so this is our uh, basic thing, and um, the important uh, and given such a thing, I can uh, at every critical point I will have um, um, extra. Uh, uh, well, um, at every critical point I will have a hypersurface in the projectivization of the tangent space. Let me call it Z alpha. And that is defined as follows. I just, well, I pick uh, that you know, a local coordinate at zero on C, and then F in terms of this coordinate will be just, just a function. And I consider it's Taylor power expansion at X alpha. And I consider just the leading, uh, well, uh, the leading coefficient there. Uh, and this leading coefficient, uh, well, it will define the zeros, will define exactly as a hypersurface uh, the alpha here, and I don't know. Uh, and let me denote by d alpha the degree of this leading coefficient, which is the same as uh, the degree of this hypersurface. Okay, so that's uh, our c alpha, and the main condition uh, it is that all these hypersurfaces are smooth. Well, and uh, then uh, we can uh, consider uh, 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 a variety Y, which is def by definition, it will be the blow up of the zero fiber at the critical points. And uh, this condition star implies that Y is smooth and the alpha 
are just for disjoint uh, divisor, uh, disjoint smooth divisor lying uh, on Y. Okay. Okay, uh, now uh, let me define an important uh, uh, Hodge structure K. And this is by definition, it will be the QR now of the middle degree homology of uh, the union of my divisors going to the corresponding gamology of Y. Okay. And uh, there is a natural map from the homology of degree now N minus one of the zero fiber of the singular zero, zero fiber to K. And this uh, canonical map is defined as uh, the composition uh, of, well, you can go from H and minus one of X zero, and then uh, we can send it to the relative homology group of X zero modulo as a set, this finite set of uh, singular points. And then to this, uh, we have uh, projection of the corresponding group upstairs. This will be Sasha, I, I cannot hear you again. Can, can you hear me, Sasha? Are you, what are what is like this? Yeah, きこえないです。聞こえてますね。うん。えっと、とりあえず気づいてますかね、ここ。気がついてない感じですね。ウェキャンウェキャンのと聞いてますね。ダイレクトに。うん。We cannot hear you again. So, iPad to the direct message of Tara session, you must send to you. What does your own to the United? Do you ever ask? We got snagging or something. I my son. It got a kill same mute to stream your son. そもそもダイレクトメッセージが送れないです。送れなくなっちゃった。うん、私も送れなかったです。あの、あのサーシャ、ミケナとヒアイガゲン。今一回強制ミュートしてミュート解除をしたんですけど、それでもダメみたいです。うん、ああ、じゃあ共有停止ですかね。うん。ハロまあ、再起動されてます、ね。あ、はい。なんか触っちゃうと切れちゃう、音が切れちゃうんですかね。あ、来ましたね。
Yes, sir. Do you hear me now? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yes. Uh, okay, so, uh, so um, mm, I'm back. Okay, so now the, now mm. the main... Uh, uh, the main claim of the slam was that this map from uh, HM uh, minus I, one. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get the, the, the lemma. So can, can you, can okay. you write the lemma again? Okay. Yeah. So we have, uh -huh. uh, okay. So we have the slam. It has two weights, one minus N mm. and two minus N. And the claim is that the top weight thing just equals k. That the above arrow provides just identification. It's an isomorphism between mm -hmm. the top uh, top weight quotient and k. Uh, okay. Well, now uh, I will use it as follows. So let's consider now uh, a variation of uh, Hodge structures H. Uh, on the com on C minus zero. Well, and a variation means that I pass to complex algebraic varieties and consider the variation of Hodge structure there. And the fibers will be just the homology of, mm, uh, of the fibers of degree n minus one. So uh, this is a, a variation of Hodge structure of weight one minus n. Mm. Well, and then uh, if I choose uh, a parameter C uh, on, uh, on my curve C, then I can consider specialization. Well, um, with respect to this, uh, to this parameter or um, the limiting Hodge structure, let me denote it as well. Listen, if you wish, it's, it is nearby cycle of H. And this will be uh, uh, will be now a mixed, just plain mixed hot structure. Uh, mm, mm, uh, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, well, what extra properties it has. So first, um, Q hot structure. Uh, so first we have on H, we have the intersection pairing. Well, it's a homology, it's middle homology of, mm, of a smooth algebraic variety. And so we have intersection pairing with values of Q of mm, N minus one. And uh, uh, well, and uh, the limiting quote structure will also carry uh, the limiting pairing. And this will be a pairing between Again, with value Q of n minus one. So this is a first structure. Uh, 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 well, then mm, mm, certainly we will have monodromy acting. Uh, and uh, the next important thing is that we have specialization map. Two. Mm, uh, to the cohomology of the fiber, just and this is a morphism of uh, Hodge structures, just just usual specialization now. Well, mm, mm, and now uh, proposition. Well, it is well known, and uh, uh, well, you can find it, for example, in uh, Luke Illusis. Uh, Azumina, uh, Azumina paper. Mm, and uh, the assertion is that first, uh, well, maybe uh, a little bit more of notation, I will consider also the, uh, well, the part of vanishing cycles on which 
cardamonodromy acts unipotently, so just unipotent vanishing cycles for H. And, um, and I prefer to, I will actually need them and not the whole, and not the whole nearby cycles. Well, and uh, so the first claim is that uh, if I will consider, if I consider the coinvariance of, so then, uh, mm, well, on unipotent vanishing cycles, uh, uh, you have the logarithm of monodromy map, uh, and this will be uh, psi unipotent twisted by one psi unipotent. And uh, the first claim of uh, proposition is that, mm, is that actually uh, the specialization map identifies uh, the coinvariance of N exactly with this H N minus one. of x0. Uh, and uh, the second part is that uh, n square equals to 0. Uh, and uh, the weights of uh, lie in Uh, well, from minus n to to minus n, and uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, a また聞こえてないですよね。うん。また今井さんにちょっと。さ、さ、ユニハムとセーフ部分曲げね。あ。またさっきと同じですね。ダイレクトメッセージが遅れません。うん。セッションにいませんってなってますね。うん。ちょっ
。時間だいぶ伸ばさないといけないですよね、うん。そうかもしれませんね。ちょっとまた後で翔さんと相談します。うん。うん、この後小林さんでしたっけ、うん、そうです。Takeshi, do you hear me? Okay. Yeah, 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 now it's fine. Yeah. Well. Are they? Well, it was fine, but now, now, what I just said. Oh. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, 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 No, it doesn't work. Mm. 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 はい、お願いします今、強制ミュートしてミュート解除を求めるっていうのを2回やったんですけど、そのまま続行してますね。うん。うん、終わったな。どうしましょう、ね。ビデオの停止も試されたらどうですかあの、解決しないけれども気づくかもしれません。あら、あら消えちゃった。あ、なんかあれでも。あすみません。麻生さんをミュートしてしまいました。あはい、<笑>すみません。Is even. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And now I will. I want to consider a cycles which are supported. Ah,、uh, is an m minus one cycle uh, on uh, the joint union of the alpha. Okay. And I let me call. Block cycle if it is homologically equivalent to zero on Y. Okay. Mm, and uh, then uh, uh, suppose that we have two block cycles. Well, if you look at,、uh, uh, at that dimension, you see that we can 
consider we view them as cycles homologically equivalent to zero on the y, and so we can uh, whereas the corresponding height pairing. And uh, we want to compute it. And the claim is that it could be computed in a little bit uh, different manner from, uh, from the definition, uh, which does not need to make some, uh, well, actually any uh, extra choices of cycles which are, um, which would be disjoint. And actually, if since we have two cycles, they both sit on, on the divisor, they must intersect there. So uh, in order to compute their uh, height pairing in usual way, we should move them uh, from the divisors and well, and this is a bit of a difficult procedure. But the fact is that you can, uh, you can compute, um, compute the thing directly uh, just sitting on the divisor and using instead uh, the vanishing cycles. And uh, what you do is uh, to consider uh, mm, uh, the following, uh, well, in order to define a real, num uh, a real number, we, define, we will define a very similar thing that was used in the definition of the height pairing. We will de uh, define the mixed hot structure, which is mm, o weights minus two, minus one, and zero, and uh, mm, mm, and which has uh, identification of of uh, its edge parts with q of zero and q of one, and uh, it is defined as follows. So we take uh, the unipotent part of H, uh, we twist it by minus one minus m, and then we can consider uh, according to this proposition that I did not wrote right. Uh, uh, completely, uh, we can consider its top, uh, top weight part, and this will be k twisted by y minus m. And we can consider its uh, bottom part, and this will be the dual part of k twisted by uh, dual to k uh, twisted by m. Mm. So here, the weight of the thing uh, is there will be three weights. And this thing has uh, weight zero. Uh, the right part has weight zero. The left, left part has weight minus two. And these are exactly the minus two and zero uh, graded component uh, weight successive quotient of the middle. Uh, well, and uh, now here we have uh, A, which maps, or if you wish, just a class of A. And so this maps Q of zero here. And here we have the class of B. So in the class in the homology group of, um, of the fiber of the alpha. And this will be map on Q1. And then we can do the same push forward and pull back uh, as we did in the definition of height pairing. pairing. And let's define, uh, consider, um, denoted as uh, H prime. A, B, and this is exactly a similar thing. So we have three weights, um, minus two, uh, minus one, and zero, and Q of one and Q of zero are its um, graded weight quotients. And therefore we can, uh, we have the real number defined as before. And the theorem claims that uh, actually this real number equals the height pairing of A and B. Um, well, uh, mm, I think I have, uh, 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 so let me just uh, maybe uh, give some uh, comments instead of instead of giving the idea of proof. Uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the comment is that, is that the thing is interesting even if we have uh, the situation when um, we have just one singular point and um, and uh, and it is quadratic. Mm, and then uh, we will have. Uh, well, mm, mm, in case when it could be 
either our space k, uh, hot structure k is uh, trivial, so then the, uh, the thing would be pure, or it is non-trivial, and then it will be um, generated exactly by um, the vanishing uh, cycle. And uh, well, since uh, and the vanishing cycle will uh, will look at the difference of two rulings of um, um, of uh, the quadric and, and the fiber. And let's assume that. Uh, the rulings are defined over the um, over the base field, and then it's, it's actually an algebraic algebraic cycle. So over our field, and then we can define um, in this manner. We can compute its um, uh, self intersection. Well, in the sense of uh, height pairing, and this will be exactly. We should just take the whole uh, uh, psi t and uh, consider the corresponding real number. Well, uh, uh, maybe let me say just one, maybe just one word that uh, the theorem is actually easy. Uh, uh, easy model of the formalism of when you, uh, the formalism of uh, uh, motifs, and um, the main uh, the main thing is that certainly um, uh, we should compare the two uh, uh, the two real numbers. Well, which are defined in somewhat similar way. We have hot structures uh, of similar shape and we assign them real numbers. And we should just compare the two. Uh, mm, mm, as the ideal thing would be if, uh, if the two were isomorphic. Certainly, uh, the left hand side is defined in not unique manner, and the right hand side also, there is choice of, say, of parameter t. Uh, mm, so they cannot be isomorphic, but the thing is that uh, they have uh, canonically uh, isomorphic. Actually, the um, mm, if you consider uh, well, the length two uh, sub quotients with re with respect to weight filtration, and mm, mm, uh, for two such hot structure, you can define well. Uh, they form actually all such hot structure. They form. Um, a torsor with respect to x1 between q of 0 and q of 1, which is multiplicative group of complex numbers. And actually, a more general assertion than this theorem is that uh, this difference between left and right part is actually an element in multiplicative group of um, k um, sitting inside of multiplicative group of complex numbers. And this is. Uh, Mm, mm, this uh, and uh, the way you prove it is just using well, uh, well, it's enough uh, to use uh, uh, the formalism, uh, the basic motivic formalism, which um, which is provided by the theory of Ayub and Szyzinski degrees. Mm, well, uh, it's it's not immediate, but you can uh, uh, you can deduce it from uh, from their study. Well, and. I'm very sorry for <laughs> for, <laughs> for for interruptions, but mm, uh, well, the time the time is, uh, is over. And uh, uh, Professor Bedinson, uh -huh. uh, so if there was so it was an accident. So if you want some more time, you can continue a little bit. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, okay. So let me uh, thank you so much, and uh, then let me. I just give at least uh, at least just a little bit more uh, 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 more uh, details. Uh, oops, uh, new whiteboard. Okay, so uh, I want to compare the two things. So let's uh, just return back to the definition of. Uh, uh, of height pairing and it used it used H A B I recall and there there is this H uh, prime A B and we want to compare them mm. Um, mm. again mm. Uh, uh, as hot structures are not isomorphic but uh, the fact is that um, you can identify just uh, absolutely canonically first successive graded quotients. And the fact is that, mm, uh, uh, well, uh, gr zero and gr minus two are q of zero and q of uh, q of uh, mm, mm, q of one, 
And if you consider the minus one, then for H A B, it would be um, it would be the homology of uh, uh, a Y. H2M plus one uh, Y twisted by uh, minus M. And for H prime, this will be uh, the intersection homology of the same degree of X zero. Mm -hmm. And the two things are, well, it's easy to identify them. And so at least this mixed hot structure had same successive quotient, uh, GUR W. Uh, but uh, also the next thing is that uh, the successive extensions between, so we have Q of zero, we have hmm. uh, uh, in, both, in both things, that's the same. So we have extensions, uh, well, we have Q of zero extension uh, H to M plus one of Y twisted by minus M here, intersection homology of X zero. And here we have Q one and all the successive mm. extensions here, 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 and here, uh, when mm. we identify the two groups, uh, they become the same. Well, and now, uh, now uh, let's consider a remark is that, suppose that we have just, just any, uh, which structure weight minus one, say H, let's denote it as H. And then we have uh, uh, just two extensions of a Q of zero by H and H by Q of one. And let's consider, uh, let's fix them. Well, call them say A and B, and let's fix them. And then let's consider all uh, mixed hot structure equipped with um, uh, with weights in minus two, z uh, minus one, and zero, such that uh, their successive weight quotients identified with those three and the extension, the corresponding weight extensions in the two step quotients will be A and B. And uh, certainly, um, isomorphism classes of such objects are. Uh, Mm, uh, well, there is a natural action of the group of extension Q of zero by Q of one on the set. Well, if you have an extension of Q of zero by Q of one, you can just consider the bar sum uh, with the thing. And uh, my uh, and the set is actually a torso with respect to this group. Mm -hmm. And this means that if we consider this uh, picture, we can take difference uh, between H A B minus H prime A B. Since both of them are elements of the given torso, this would be an element of multiplicative group of complex numbers, well, up to torsion. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, well, and uh, the theorem would follow from a stronger assertion that uh, this number is actually belong well, uh, that uh, uh, this number belongs to the difference between H and H prime belong to the multiplicative group of K. And uh, in order to do it, you should basically repeat all constructions uh, within the world of motifs. You can, uh, uh, you should, uh, well, there are slight complications because uh, you can, in the existing formalism of motifs, uh, you cannot take homology. There is no structure to take homology, but uh, you, can, you can get around it. And then you will automatically have both H and H prime, uh, they will be realized as K motifs. And uh, well, then you can take exactly for the same formal reason you will have their difference, which will lie here in, uh, and, and then, well, map from, a realization map from motifs to, uh, to Hodge structures will provide you, mm -hmm. provide you the assertion uh, we need. 
Well, that's maybe uh, end of my comments. And um, again, I'm very sorry for that. For all the nonsense. That's it. Thank you very much. So maybe first, any questions from Professor Take Saito? Yeah. Uh, so, so today uh, you your talk is on this mixed for this structure, but uh, can can you consider a similar uh, question for other context like periodic periodic feed or a more isometric case or under uh, some you expect to have some relation with uh, zeta function? Uh, well, perhaps yes. Actually, uh, hmm. <coughs> uh, well, mm, actually, well, uh, Spencer at least he has uh, in mind some uh, hmm. some examples to get uh, to apply the thing. Well, to uh, well to birth smear on there something like this. But uh, hmm. but you should uh, uh, rather ask him. And I, I didn't <laughs> I did went through. Uh, Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. No. Sorry. Uh, I don't I don't hear you again. Let's shut up. Oh, coming back. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly <laughs> sorry. Just, just like probably it's connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you one more question. Uh, so suppose your field is Q, rational numbers. Then, then uh, so you have this... Uh, Difference and uh, it must be some linear combination of log of p. And can you uh, say which which prime appears in, in this uh, difference? うん。あ、ここも他にも質問したい人がいるみたいですね。チャットに来ていますね。あ、来てます。あれ。うん。いや。おい。それ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
basically the, 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 uh -huh. the, the corrections you define as elliptic numbers and uh, you should have them rational independent of L and then everything works. But, and then you will have mm -hmm. equality of real numbers actually by the same argument. Mm -hmm. But. I see. Mm. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> any questions from any other participants? So if someone wants to uh, ask something, please raise your hand by Zoom. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, can, I just want to ask, what kind of motives are you considering in the end? You said these uh, H, A, B, uh, and H. Uh, well, mm, uh, the thing is, is that in, in the world of motives, one does not know yet uh, what is the structure. So you cannot, you cannot consider a given homology groups. Uh, but you can rephrase uh, everything uh, in terms of the, basically of the whole chain complex. Uh, it takes a little bit, uh, a little bit of work, uh, but um, but you can do it, uh, and um, and then uh, you will have uh, you will have uh, just a Vyvodsky motif uh, defined for uh, which would define uh, the height pairing, uh, and uh, you have uh, nearby cycles construction, which is uh, uh, unipotent nearby cycles that were defined by a U. And they will provide uh, provide similar uh, similar thing. Again, the numbers actually depend only on the homology groups, but but you can spell everything out using using the whole chain complex, and uh, and that is it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. So, any other questions? Mm -hmm. So. Please raise your hand by Zoom if you have any questions. So maybe no more questions. Okay, so then let's thank the speaker again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So maybe we change the schedule a little bit and we resume at 10.20.